So you'd like to go camping this weekend, take the family out and have some fun. You go inside the camper and whoo, man, it stinks up in there. If you've got a camper that's got some mold and mildew smell, today I'm gonna show you some great tricks to help you get rid of that smell and uh, make your camping trip a lot more pleasant. Now, I will not be talking about how and why so much as to why you have mold and mildew smells. You could have leaks from your roof. You could have leaks from your water pipes. You could have all kinds of different things that is causing this. Most of the problem is generally that campers are so poorly insulated. You've got a lot of moisture that gets in the air inside the camper and that just helps breed all that mold and mildew. So that's pretty much what we are gonna be talking about tackling today, not necessarily your roof leak situation that you might be having. So one of the first odors I want to tackle is the bed. Of course, I want this thing smelling right so I can get some good sleep at night. Hey, that rhymed. All right, so I take the mattress out and I put it in the full sun and I let the sun hit it and let it try to kill some of that mold and mildew that might be in there and I spray this thing down with Febreze and I leave it out here for about two days and I'll even rotate this thing around, turn it around where the backside can also get some sun to it and uh, bring it in at nighttime. But if I leave it out here in the full hot sun, man, that will definitely air this thing out and get it smelling good. Of course, I take the sheets and all that stuff and uh, bed clothes as i like to call them and i take the bed clothes and give them a nice bath in the in the uh, washing machine and get them a lot more freshened up and you may also notice along the walls of your cabinets and everywhere inside you may notice a little bit of a film kind of like a mold that is on the inside of your camper you can take some white vinegar and put it into a spray bottle Go inside your camper and spray it along the walls in there and get it so that it it uh, it saturates that mold or mildew, whatever you want to call it. It gets it wet and leave it on there for just a little while. And uh, what that will do is it will kill the the growth inside of it, and then you'll be able to wipe it off with a with a cloth or a towel. And if you're like me, I have not opened the doors of my camper in a quite a little while now. And you can see that I've got a curtain over the window. So it's very dark inside. So what I wanna do today is not only open the door, but I also want to open the window and let some light in there, take my curtains down and wash them in the laundry as well with my sheets that I'm washing off of the bed. That way I'm getting everything in here as clean as I possibly can. Be amazed how much smell even just the curtains can carry. So one of the first odors I want to tackle is the bed. Of course, I want this thing smelling right so I can get some good sleep at night. Hey, that rhymed. All right. So I take the mattress out and I put it in the full sun and I let the sun hit it and let it try to kill some of that mold and mildew that might be in there. And I spray this thing down with Febreze and I leave it out here for about two days and I'll even rotate this thing around, turn it around where the backside can also get some sun to it and uh, bring it in at nighttime. But if I leave it out here in the full hot sun, man, that will definitely air this thing out and get it smelling good. Of course, I take the sheets and all that stuff and uh, bed clothes as I like to call them. And I take the bed clothes and give them a nice bath in the, in the uh, washing machine and get them a lot more freshened up. Now you want to take your cushions. If you've got cushions on a couch or anything inside of there, you can take your cushions out and put them outside. Now there is a zipper on most of these cushions where you can unzip this cover and remove that cover. You can throw it into the laundry machine with all of your uh, bed clothes that you're gonna be washing. And you can leave that foam out here in the full sun just like you're doing your mattress and uh, let that foam kind of air out as well. You can spray a little bit of Febreze on it as well. You don't wanna do a whole lot, 
because once you do put this cover back on, you will be blocking in anything inside of it and you don't want a lot of moisture inside of that uh, sponge material. So make sure to leave it out at least two days to make sure that it's really dried out well. And if you're like me, of course, you've not come in here and run any water in several months. So uh, the sink in your in your kitchen or your bathroom and even the drain in the floor of your shower is going to have the same situation. When you were winterizing your camper, you uh, put some of that pink antifreeze into your water lines. You poured it out of your faucet and it sits here into this trap inside of every sink and even your shower you're going to have a trap down at the bottom and that trap will hold this um, antifreeze and water mixture and it will start to mildew okay and mold up so what you want to do is take and put some uh, bleach inside of here if you want to even before just pouring the bleach in you may want to pour several gallons of fresh water in here let your fresh water get in here and then put you a little bit of bleach half a cup maybe one cup whatever you feel like it needs but um you can have odors that are coming from this and that's what you might be smelling not realizing that it's actually coming from here and not just the fabrics that we spoke of earlier and i'd say we are all probably guilty of this next one after coming back from a camping trip, the last thing you really want to do is go out there and clean up your refrigerator. And uh, you've basically probably forgotten about it, but think about how many smells can be coming from that refrigerator. So uh, you know what probably you need to use here. Some some good uh, household cleaner, kitchen cleaner, uh, 409. Y'all leave some comments down below what y'all like to clean your refrigerator with. And... Uh, that's definitely what you need to do here is get this refrigerator cleaned up so that, of course, that it's very safe for you to put your uh, food in as you go on your next trip. Check out this I Love Kmart button that I found uh, last trip that I was on. I was out uh, selling antiques, and uh, this was at a booth that was nearby. So uh, I, I wore that for a couple of days while I was selling. People really commented on it. They liked that. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Pretty cool little piece. I also had one with Aunt Jemima on there and it said, eat a better breakfast. And keep in mind, you have ceiling vents in your camper. You might have one, maybe two. Def Usually there's one in every bathroom. I don't think I've ever been in a camper that did not have a vent in the uh, ceiling of the bathroom. So open that vent up and uh, turn on the fan if it's got a fan and pull out some of those odors as well. It does not hurt to leave those open if you have a vent cover. If you have a vent cover, that will prevent rain from coming in. You can leave that thing open, especially in the summertime or warm months. But I don't think that I would leave that open during the wintertime when uh, the moisture does not have a way to kind of cook itself out of the uh, camper. So these campers get so hot sitting there in the sun, that moisture needs to escape somewhere and if you've got that vent open, it, it allows that moisture to escape out of the vent, whether your fan is turned on or not, but it does help if you do have the fan on. Now is my favorite tip that I wanna tell you about, and the stuff you're going to purchase is very inexpensive, and you're gonna be able to use this for more than one thing. I love to buy cedar shavings and use those in my camper. Let me show you uh, a little clip that I took inside Walmart showing you these uh, cedar shavings. And this comes in a five cubic foot uh, bag. And you can see right here that it is priced at $7.66 for a container of it. But you've got to get cedar. No other uh, shavings will work. It has to be cedar. Okay, this is my favorite trick, as I said earlier, and this is why. I love to take the cedar shavings and I put them inside of this colander. If you notice, the colander, of course, has holes all the way around it. So when you get this full of cedar shavings, you have all the aroma of the cedar not only coming out of the top, but it's also coming out of the sides. 
Some people say that cedar has the natural ability to absorb odors as well. And I, I believe that myself. I don't know that it's been a proven fact or not, but I, I can tell you that you can take a vehicle that's been smoked in. You can take anything that has a lot of mildew smell. You can do this trick right here and you will not smell that uh, cigarette smoke, dog smell, mold, mildew, whatever. You can get rid of it with this trick here. And if you don't have a colander, you can always take something like this and uh, fill it up. But it doesn't hurt to maybe put a colander or two in the uh, kitchen area, uh, dining, living area, whatever you got. And you can put this on the bed or you can probably go to Dollar Tree or somewhere like that and maybe get two or three of these for a buck and a quarter a piece or a buck and a half, whatever Dollar Tree selling them at these days. So, uh, man, it's a very inexpensive trick, but I love it. And it will get rid of smells. Another thing you can do with a vehicle, I just took the ashtray. Uh, it was a vehicle I got, and it smelled of putrid smoke. I mean, and I smoked for 17 years, so I'm not getting on to smokers. Hey, it is what it is. So anyway, I took the ashtray out and I filled it up with the cedar shavings, just like I'm doing here. I just took that ashtray and filled it up with those cedar shavings and left it hanging wide open. It was on a Ford Explorer. You could leave the ashtray hanging open. And man, it got rid of the uh, smoker smell within, I don't know, maybe a week or so. Uh, sitting out in the full sun with the windows up, man, it just baked that cedar smell in there, got rid of it. And that cedar stuff that I, I just showed you and talked about the cedar shavings you can also use that if you want to do like a uh, make your own composting toilet situation at the end of this video i will leave a link you can click on that and it will take you to a video where i discuss how you can use cedar shavings to make you basically your own composting toilet all you're using is a bucket and a bag but uh, anyway, while I'm talking about the toilet, you also may want to make sure your toilet is clean inside your camper. You still may have some odors that are coming from that. And uh, also, as I talked about in the sink and in the shower, those uh, little bit of mold and mildew that can grow around inside of the, the uh, sink and the shower, that can also happen in the toilet as well. Anytime you've got water that's been sitting for a long time, that's going to happen. Also, you may want to flush out your uh, holding tanks. You got your fresh water holding tank, your uh, gray water, and your black water. Get those tanks flushed out. You may be getting some smells from those as well. Down in the comments, y'all leave me some tips and tricks and leave them for everyone else as well. We all want to know what your tricks are to keeping your camper smelling good and getting rid of some of those awful smells that we all have to start the season off with. Folks, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all hit on some of these links that I'm going to leave here and there. And y'all subscribe and thumbs up and all that great stuff. Y'all know what to do. Everybody else tells you all about it. <laughs> leave your comments. I want to hear them. See y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.